What's up YouTube, Keith Mitchell aka Shadow Hacks are back again and this time around I wanted to take a couple minutes and talk about formerly known as Project Getty which is now Google's Project Stream, an online streaming platform that delivers at the moment AAA gaming through the Chrome browser. Now I was lucky enough to receive an invite to Project Stream and I've been playing it ever since I got the invite. That said, I've got about two and a half, three hours racked up in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And to be quite honest, I'm really impressed with what Project Stream is showing us. When they announced this, I wasn't really, you know, I was very skeptical. I was like, this is not going to work. Input delay, latency, you were promising me 1080p graphics over the internet. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I've seen this before, but we've seen it through applications and they've all had issues with latency and input delay. You, we we're talking about Parsec, we've seen Liquid Sky. They all promised the same thing, but in the end, they just simply could not get over the input delay. And it's not to say that those services are bad. They definitely have their purposes. But with Project Stream, this is more of an evolution than anything I've seen before. I mean, the graphics look nice. The input delay was very minimal. I actually loaded up my copy of Assassin's Creed Odyssey on the Xbox One to see the input delay. And it is there. You definitely can see it, but it's not as bad as you would think. The game actually works very well. We don't know if this is a modified version of the game, basically, that has some kind of buffer that allows the input delay to not mess up the game, or if this actually is the game, the same game that we're playing on our consoles and on the PC. That said, I did have some issues with the service. So Google recommends that you need to have 25 megs. Now I have a hundred up and down and throughout multiple gaming sessions with Project Stream, I noticed that at times it would complain saying that my connection is either slowed down or that the game is going to stop because my connection has gotten spotty. Now, the last time this happened, I went and checked out uh, Speed of Me, which is an online speed test, and it said my connection was great. So that's kind of troubling because if the service is telling me right now, hey, you're having a problem and I'm verifying that I'm having no problems. That means that there's a problem, obviously. And it, it is a beta. It definitely is a beta. So I'm not going to complain about that. This is why we're doing this. We're here to provide feedback to Google to say, hey, Google, I ran into this problem or hey, Google, I'm doing this or hey, Google, I saw this and I thought this might be something that could help out a little more, which is why we have a beta. Great. But I have to say, I am really impressed with what we've seen so far. I did not expect this to be as good as it is right now. Graphically, outside of the issues with the quality being degraded because my it says my connection is bad, it looks like the game is running at max settings. Everything is very detailed. Everything is very fluid. I even had my wife come in and she was like, wow, this looks really good. And I'm like, yeah, but it's being streamed off of the internet. And she was like, no, that's not possible. I was like, yeah, it, it totally is. It's being streamed off the internet. My wife is not technical. She's not a gamer, but she knows what looks good. And she saw that and she was impressed. So, hey, Google, if anything, you impressed the hell out of my wife, which is something that's kind of hard to do. That said, I'm definitely going to dive back into some more Assassin's Creed Odyssey on Project Stream. Right now, my impressions so far are very good. I think this service has a lot of potential. They need to work out the bugs. And given that we don't know when this is actually coming out officially, I'm pretty sure we'll be in beta for quite some time. Speaking of which, we are going to be in beta, or at least people that are in the beta right now will have access to Assassin's Creed Odyssey up until January 2019. Seeing we're in October right now, we've got October, November, December. So we've got sure over three and a half months to go ahead and play the hell out of this game which I definitely will be doing. So stay tuned here for more impressions on Project Stream as well as Microsoft's upcoming Project X Cloud because we got a whole bunch to talk about that and what we expect out of that as well. So thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, why not leave a comment below and subscribe to the channel and we will talk to you next time. Take it easy.